Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Pax Britannica mod for Hearts of Iron Forum, your host, Mr. Jacques Doriot Lover, but we gotta read about the Mars of Revolution. To the outside world, Victor Barthelemy seemed like an opportunist. Changing his ideology when it fitted him best, he jumped ship from old Jacobin organizations in his youth to eventually climb high into the party of bureaucracy, turning into Doriot's right hand. Yeah, knowing the man personally, Doriot saw everything but an opportunist and Barthelemy. And actually, he was a radical and violent, a fine fit to be Doriot's ham. A man disappointed by revolutionary promises never being delivered. Barthélemy turned to Doriot's French ultra-nationalism an example of adult socialism. Born out of violence and Darwinian strategy of might making right, the relationship between the two men, or two men, despite Barthélemy, making a good fit has been estranged since the beginning due to, hit, due to Barthélemy. Initially in charge of the party's personal paramilitary, his violent tendencies were useful. To a revolutionary Doriot today hour, the best Barthelemy could do was intimidate the few political opponents left, strip away his violent indulgences, and you would have not have a drip of talent left yet. Due to seniority and loyalty to the party, Doriot put his butcher into a position of being a useful butcher, though making sure that any consequential power was stripped away from Barthelemy. It's a dreadful affair, so much so that Doriot could agree with. A revolutionary and orderly hierarchy of state is like a bull in a china shop, bound to break something in the near future. Or until that near future, Barthelemy was a good goon to have around. The combination of a lack of spine and a relatively powerful position. No talent and few, if any, friends or allies. Barthelemy was a dog without a claws or teeth. Let him be useful to the regime, because that's the only way he'll sustain his violent yet pointless, pointless existence in the party. It's only, a problem when he, when he, it's only a problem when he becomes a problem. So, right now, where are we at in our focus tree? Look at all the stuff we can do. Ah, oh, so much stuff. I love it. Uh, currently, we, of course, we are doing European Commonwealth. I think we were doing this last time, but... The new Europe, as envisioned by Doriot, is economically integrated with political heart in Paris, as we advance towards the conflict around degeneracy. It's important that we, important that we lay the groundwork for the pan-European project sooner rather than later. And there it goes, Brazil. Um, ooh, camps. I love camps. Military contracts, stuff over here. Oh, well, and military stuff over here. Oh, we militarize Lorraine. That might be worth doing. We've got quite a few comms to go through as well. The Alto Metro. Oh, we can invest in Bordeaux. Ooh. Interesting. Unemployment goes down, of course. Invest in Bordeaux. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. Wireless World. Marseille. Populate or perish. Alright. Um, let's see. Research team, 30 days, synthetic refineries. Uh, set fuel ratio to 100%. That's kind of interesting. And the hunt for tungsten as well. Well, let's go with labor. France is abundant with the degeneracy. It's about time we put these inf <clears throat> inferiors to work. Our economy needs a continued supply of labor of it is to rival others, and we're better to get said supply than our own backyard. After all, we're giving these individuals something better than death, their opportunity to die for France. They shall spend their days toiling in France's industrial zones. Uh, here they will not beg, only work. Which sounds absolutely perfect for us. Happy 1935, everybody, of course. Oh, the new French man? Oh, yes, please. Uh, some comments. Someone says, The new French economy focus branch is money. Send volunteers to Italy early is another must. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That was my bad. Uh, money, 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 money. Camps? Yes, please. After that, ooh, oh, we can't do it. We need to do some more of this stuff. So, military contracts. New technologies are always needed if we're to remain one step ahead of the enemy. Advancements in the armored section, especially, or sector, must, especially are a must if we're to con counter the ever-growing strength of Britain and Germany. We shall fund known minor and major businesses that have an act to tinker with materials and products in the pursuit of technological advancements. Also, right now, what are we building up? Uh, we're building up some civvies. We're building some arms factories as well, which is not bad, actually, at all. We'll get a few more trucks, ledger-wise. We need way more guns and motorized, so more guns would be nice. Of course, more resources to work with as well. And then, of course, we have improved meal supplements. Very good, very good. 1935. More organization would be decent. 153 political power. We can't quite do the dig sites. In search of service rivalry. Uh, someone says, you should probably want to go hard on fixing your economy. Otherwise, you're hit with nasty debuffs. And I'd say, um, well, I did ask you guys as well whether we should do an industry that never sleeps versus pride in our work. This person recommends a pride in our work. The base efficiency plus your tech would really minimize the cost of switching tech. Someone says, Ane Zero. Holy crap, my country's becoming democratic... Uh, Kampuchea. Someone else says, It's a pity that you decide to bore up like Doriot, Jacques Doriot, like every other YouTuber. I'm tired of seeing the man's face. Someone else says, Purge the security public, which I did ask you whether we should or should not. Um, someone else says, I have zero idea why there are human augmentations, but the person doesn't know about the lore of the mob. Someone else says, 
basically, the American Revolution failed. Nikola Tesla created mechs, and the mods inspired by Iron Harvest. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Up next. No more loose ends. Ooh. More cap. Way less growth, but better cap. Increased factions in the state. That gives. It's not bad. But I think I want to wait. But getting a research slot would be nice, though. And another research slot. That'd be pretty darn good. Uh, we'll do military contracts. And no more loose ends. Hmm. I want to wait to do this one. We can do this other stuff first, though. There's a lot of non-core manpower. Mass deportations of Germans. Well, Committee on the Racial Sciences. The racial supremacy of the French is indisputable. However, there still remains great debate over the racial hierarchy of Europe and the world. In order to clear up, a confusion Committee on the Racial Sciences will be established. Oh, we can raise the population, but we don't really need to yet. Um, what about here? So we will, of course, now go with a lot more Nero, 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 Neo imperialists. Ooh, tech teams. Interesting. Not bad. Mm. Down here, though, army regrouping, better recovery, better armor attack and defense, which is actually quite nice. Army offense would be quite good as well, and ground support. Um, we could really use more daily army XP gains. Let's go with you first. And after that, we'll really start focusing on inter-service rivalry. Then again, we still want to fo focus on this a whole bunch too, so. And we need way more arms factories. So, there you go. 3.4%. We needed to be less than 1%, which is taking forever to do. So. Mm -hmm. National fervor does go up. We could do that one for German labor. Migrate Rhenish industries. Integration of the Rhineland. German servitude. <coughs> Dreams of a greater France. Metric contracts. The Alto Metro. The Alto Metro is a proposed interstate infrastructure project that will connect thousands of towns to the major cities of France. The investment will be grand, but the benefits are simply too good to ignore. Millions of French workers would be specifically employed to construct these major highways whilst their logistical capabilities will receive a much needed boost. Which activates a mission, Alto Metro. Um, here we go. Alright. A little bit ahead of time. Basic stimulants. Don't really think we really need that right now. Support equipment 35. Logistics, of course, are at least needed. Ooh, that's a little bit ahead of time first. Anti tank, maybe? 36? Not bad. Still only 35, though. Uh, terror weapons? We'll see. Naval air stuff. Well, what is this? Lightweight teleforce engine. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, of course, we'll really focus on the party doctrine at once we get through pretty much unemployment and stuff like this, so. Um, change Neo Imperialists. And, of course, we are the FPF. Wow, it's going down by 0.2 a day. Purging the monarchist remnants. Nice. Labor camps. Oh, New France. Ooh. Well, that sucks. I'm going to really race towards getting rid of that. Current poverty will rate begin to improve. Eh, that's not bad. It gives more stability. Most of our major cities, besides Paris, have lagged behind modern standards, simply rotting away from the very foundations and practically begging for a catastrophe to happen. Given these cities a much needed touch up will boost party popularity within the states they reside in and convince people that change is finally on the way. Today, the French government has announced the arduous process of connecting France as many towns and cities with one uni unified railway and highway network. The cost of each project is estimated to be somewhere in the hundreds of millions of francs, and many are asking if France, or the French state can even afford such a heavy cost. However, it's successful with jobs, or the project would deliver tens of thousands of much needed jobs to an increasingly worried unemployed workforce. I like trains. Um, <coughs> well, this one's cheaper. You, use, you don't get as much infrastructure, but you get another arms factory, which we could use immediately, so. Reassure generals. Military's favorite, huh? Well, the top light way is where you want to go, so. Yeah. And it's water tablets. Very cool. 35, 35. Hmm. Anti tank, maybe, just in case. Basic radar is nice. Very good. 
Coordination industry. You know what's a little ahead of time, but we can still do it anyways. It's not but the last sermon. Father Lazar, are you all right? You seem rather out of it during the sermon. Josephine's comment took the old man or took the old father back, but he quickly regained the posture worthy of a friendly priest. No words, my child. I've just been rather sad about the attendance of our community these last few months. Before <clears throat> uh, any familiar faces frequent the church anymore, the young woman before him nodded. In the last few months. Fewer and fewer people from the town have been going regularly to the church. Even her own relatives, such as her four younger brothers, have been skipping church. Ever since Doria has been a vocal critic of religion, the church has seen fewer people come. Father Lazar sighed, I prayed many nights now to God that Doria may change his ways, but it does not seem like my prayers will be answered. Josephine nodded again. Seeing though a priest in such distress was rather heartbreaking. And the worst part is that I'm somewhat responsible for this mess. I would have never voted for the front if I knew Doria would oppose the Lord's, Lord's words. Josephine stopped nodding. Looking slightly scared. Who knew if anyone else in the church was a member of the SP? If this little chat would leak, she could lose her job or freedom. Father Lazar saw it in Josephine's eyes and nodded. I think it's better to end this chat here. May the Lord bless your health and safety, child. A few months later, Father Lazar was placed by a new, less critical priest. Amen. Mm, I do want to populate our parish, though. And based in Marseille. Marseille is a major trading port off the southern coast of France. It's been never been, it's been, never been truer since its founding by the ancient Greeks. It's been true since then. Despite its occupation by British forces during the Great War, most of its functional architecture is left intact. However, the scars of occupation could still be seen occasionally. Nice. Ooh. New city's plans. <clears throat> yeah, sure, why not? And the, it is a dawn of a new future for the blessed dominions of France, where there was once rubble, or decadent artifacts of a bygone era, while rise new, imposing buildings in accordance with new designs brought up by the French Ministry of Construction. This innovative, emerging style of architecture mixes a classical Roman architecture with the ideas of an Art Deco movement born years prior in the modern innovations of steel and reinforced concrete, birthing concepts that are best described as gargantuan, Roman-style skyscrapers. For several French architects, such as Auguste Perret and, or Perrault, and Paul Tarnon, have made significant contributions for reconstruction blueprints in several cities across the French heartlands in accordance with these designs. These imposing, sharply edged skyscrapers that strike awe and obedience on our citizens are spreading all across France and its occupied territories. With our guidance, this wave of new archite archite oh, architectural plans will only further consolidate our many as, we, as future rulers of Europe. Let's get to work then. Hmm. I don't want to do this one, though. That's not bad, actually. Add integration. Ooh, that's okay. I kind of like this one more, actually. This one actually gives you, like, recovery rate and stuff like that there, so. Keep working on it. Keep building, 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 building. And when you're done building, you're never done building. Because we've got a lot to do. Oh, we're done purging them, huh? That sucks. It's not right. Um, probably less than that. 2.4% is not bad. But after investing there... Yeah, more of the civilian stuff. Uh, develop southern railways. The major railway helps the south are rather outdated. Still utilizing systems and materials prior to the Great War. It would be in our best interest to modernize these railways to get better... Uh, to greater improve the flow of supply and aid our southern population in their day to the day operations. <coughs> Incentivize southern businesses. The finishing and shipping industries of the south were completely decimated during the unruly years of the mid to late 1920s. Often being ground zero for workers' strikes and protests, these workplaces are simply now remnants of a once booming industry. Leaving these vital areas of employment abandoned like this will only continue to hurt the state in the short and long term. More free millies, basically. Okay, why not? More resources, of course. That's uh, not bad. Guns are fine. We get some more of this. Get some more of these, maybe. We have more artillery, because our soldiers here. They are only 20 combat with, which is okay. We need way more support over though. Because mm, I plan on just like holding the line a whole bunch, so... Thank you. Develop Northern Railways. North France is home to the bulk of our industry and population, so it would be smart of us to prioritize its developments over certain regions. New roads, railways, and bus routes will be the first course of action, eventually followed by additional funding in the new enterprises to allow the development of new towns and opportunities. Yeah, why not? We'll close out of this for now since we don't need that one open. Yeah, 
Purge militarists. Uh, we'll definitely do this way. Hey, economic health improves. Nice. Where is economic health? Economic policies. I don't see too much here. It's still going up, which is good. Money able stuff, great. Keep trading, keep trading, doing great. And then you guys are doing what? Train. I'll keep making more factories too. So it northern businesses. <clears throat> well, the northern areas of France are hardest by the unemployment crisis and analysis believe a focus on subsidizing smaller or less profitable businesses would be best. Such businesses include local groceries, barbershops, and the like. Anything to get our younger and eager population working again. Nice. I'll have to go over here and do that one too. And then... That's fine. It's not bad. A lot of arms factory knows, yeah. Where are we at for unemployment? Oh, we're done with it. Oh, we're completely done. Are we? Really? Okay. Sure, why not? All right, so that's great. We must have got the benefits from it then. Oh, where well, you guys are down here. Which actually, you guys are not looking too bad. So you guys, that should be more than enough for Italy. 32 divisions down here is more than enough. So, should be done with that one. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, you guys are down here, which is fine. You guys are all the volunteers I pretty much sent out. And you guys are where? Yeah, you guys just kind of hang out. But this army's not super strong, which is disappointing. But, you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. Deploy. Go right here, Arenos. Uh, these are the types of divisions we are using. You're going to need way more of this and some of this and some of that. Uh, yeah. How much anti-air do we have, actually? We can use some anti-air. Let's be real. We can use some more anti-air. Then again, are we making any? Doesn't look like too much. So, Hey. Good. Frame. We should convert some of these divisions, but that's alright. Alright, after that one, all roads lead to Paris. The French Minister of Industry has announced his interest in a major railway project is designated to connect all the various outer Parisian towns to the main city. Much like that of the Ultra Metro, the main idea is to connect the East separate communities into the heart of the nation. Boosting employment and access to education if the project was to be given the go-ahead. Nice. Nouveau plan de Paris. Hey, decrease in poverty, great. We have widespread poverty right now. Oh, great. Still widespread, though. Which sucks. Poverty? Eh, alright. Mm, connect to the wireless world. Alright. More population? That's not bad. France's population is meager when compared to the likes of British and German populations. Times come for state sponsored to population drive. We primarily <clears throat> achieve by granting families with three more student economic benefits. And after this, I really want to start pushing out and doing more uh, foreign policy stuff. A lot more. What are we missing besides support equipment? There's a lot of support equipment. There's a lot of plane stuff too. It looks like we're not even making planes, which is dumb. Should probably make some planes. We definitely go see some really good naval bombers too. Corruption. Alright. Anything else here? Oh, fuel. Uh, you definitely want to do this one because this one takes the longest, so. All roads lead to Paris. After this one, let's start doing uh, remilitarization or remilitarize Lorraine. For too long, the German enforced demilitarization of Eastern lands has been tolerated. With the German people unprepared for war, the time is right to fully enforce their sovereignty. Which way did the Germans go? Very nice second reactionaries. Oh, I've done that route. Okay. Conservatives, huh? These guys are very strong, but we have to be careful. Um, honestly, we'll probably, we will probably need quite a bit of anti-tank as well, so... And piercing would might not be bad. But we'll see. Public meetings banned. We do have a couple of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well, though. I guess I could have gotten involved down there, but whatever. Uh, be friends, Spain... Why not? Spain, for the longest of times, has been a valuable ally to France. 
We have fought many wars together and seen our once glorious empires be reduced to nothing more than ash. However, this shared hatred uh, is only made us strong. Read the militarization of Lorraine. When the cause and fourth treaty of tours under the Bourbon dynasty, German high command remained hopeful in the effectiveness of such a treaty would have on preventing another world war. If only they knew. With the Revanche's fervor at all-time high and our armed forces rapidly expanding, the bureaucrats of Frankfurt knew darn well what we all want. Well, their militarization of Lorraine is but the first step in a series of, process, of processes to ensure total French hegemony in the following years. Before we know it, our troops will be marching through the cities of Berlin, Vienna, and Nuremberg, singing and dancing like the Germans did so long ago. Yet we shall go one the extra step. Not only will we guarantee the Germans remain neutered from the global affairs, but we will fundamentally change the society as a whole. After all, revenge isn't about defeating one's nation, but to make the very nation incapable of existing for the rest of time. Treaty of Tours is dead. March on Brest. Uh, let's do a renew our Spanish alliance first. Whether diplomatic relations with uh, between France and Spain reaching new heights or for, Minister for Foreign Relations. In Madrid believes now is the time to welcome Spain to the Pact of Revanchista. Oh, holy crap, look at that peepee. -pee. Nice. And we will take uh, attack of Valonia eventually as well, so. We got it anyways. The diplomatic relations with France reaching new heights. Oh, I did, did I do this one? Oh, maybe, oh, re, oh, ties with Italy, my bad. With the Anuzio's government successful in the Italian Civil War, we should make a diplomatic effort uh, to reform our position in the Pacto Revanchista. My bad. Pan European idealism. I want to march on Brest. The creation of Britain is a national embarrassment to the French people. It's an abomination created by the Anglos following the Treaty of Tours. We shall avenge this black market in French history by force if necessary. I'm glad I looked over here because we gotta keep making more stuff here. Uh, do two and then get at least one more for arms factories. I don't mind working on some infrastructure, but still. 54 days, fuel refining, more fuel refining. That'd be good. <coughs> and pan European idealism. Whilst some may see France as a purely warmongering state, these individuals have clearly been blinded by Anglo thought. France only means to redefine Europe, not destroy it. That won't be bad either. Oh. Nouveau Plan de Paris. It's not bad. I kind of want to wait and see, though, what's going to happen up here. Uh, 48% ain't bad. Oh. Despotism's gone. Nice. What are reactionaries, though? Um, do we need to actually go to war with them? Hold on. If anything, just in case, come over here. Strategy towards Brittany. Uh, let's befriend Russia too. Whilst Russia may have been actively participating in her destruction during the Great War, they have started to warm up to us in the recent years. We shall share some common political ground and both have a distinct desire to watch empires of both Germany and Britain burn to the ground. Brittany, a country barely kept alive by a more minority government, depending on the whims of our, their protectors. Brittany, alongside many of the countries carved out of our glorious nation, are artificial states. For this reason, our high command seeks to invade quickly and be done with the stain of our borders. However, an alternative has been proposed by other members of our military to increase our global perception to avoid interference of the future ambitions. We should negotiate with the Breton government. Doing so may result in concessions like suffering these cowards of their own self-determination through autonomy, with the potential of reclaiming the breast dockyards without bloodshed or the disdain of our rivals has its own appeal. But the question ultimately lies with... Send a list of demands to the government. No need for diplomacy. I want diplomacy. We'll try it. Increase the poverty. Hey, look at that. Great. Okay, then. We just walk into there. Nice. Good job, guys. I knew you had it in you. Even though we don't get cores on them yet, but we'll see. I'll do that one first. Decimate the Breton nationalists. Whether the liberation of Brittany is successful, we now have the arduous task of convincing the people who still remain loyal to the government of Mordor what once was, and what can still be. They decided to go with their Anglo-inspired ways, and we will have to liquidate them and any other conspirators. Demand Wallonia. Back to Thorns. <coughs> While Russia may be hesitant to join the Pact of Anchista, we may be able to offer them a diplomatic compromise. Instead of joining the alliance, both sides will agree to guarantee one another in case of armed conflict, and will pursue no hostile actions against one another as well. Of course, the Russians may change their mind in the future, but now we can rest well knowing we've only one less, one less enemy in Europe. Oh, 
Oh well. Yeah, we'll do a pan-European pan idealism next. That should be good. You guys looking fine. You might need to dig in a little bit more, but we'll see. Protesting the bias, but whatever. Given recent actions, the SPs have left in a strengthened position, leading to exclamations of jealousy and outrage from much of the military. Well, nothing to worry about for the moment. The military decries the favor that's being shown to the SP and warns that too much influence given to the SP will have drastic consequences. Whether it's a threat or warning remains to be seen, but certainly the military does not appreciate this, this path. Back to thorns. Nice. I, mean, I would have liked to go this way, but you know, whatever. Where are we at right now? SP dominant. Ah. Militaris victorious. Oh. Well, hold on. Purge of security, public. Heavily favors the security. Must be favored. Must be favored. Well, none of these guys are despotists now. They're all 0%. It's all about neo imperialists. So, purge them, I guess. Well, actually. Are organizing a coup? Eh, we'll see. I don't really care. Improve radar. Nice. 36 here. We're doing all this stuff, which is great. Mm -hmm. They attempt to seize control. It seems the SP were right all along. Using incredible political favor we have shown them, the militaries have attempted to coup our government. Many of our trusted advisors and military leaders have revealed their true loyalty to the militaries, and now demand full control over the governmental apparatus. It's involved in a fight of repairs, and unless immediate relief is provided, it will the militarists. Oh, wow, look at this. Successfully take control. Oh, we get national French state of France will be known as a French state. Interesting. I kind of want to see what it looks like just in case, but... Hmm. The military in control. Where's that one? Is that up here? No. Military in control. No. Oh, over... Oh, okay. So you get that one if you do this one, so... Uh, as much fun as that might be, uh, the coup is defeated, of course. Sixty percent. So apologies, we're not going down the route you want us to go. So, it is what it is. Because we're just getting rid of this anyway. So, address our allies. Well, the nation on the warpath, the need to make up for various allies apparently lacking armies becoming clear by the day. France must bear the burden of its allies if it wishes to see itself throughout this coming war. They don't approach Corsica first, but expand the Paris Institute. The Paris Institute is a collection of packed revanchists, brightest and greatest minds. Um, includes scholars, mathematicians, scientists, and military officials, all who are far beyond the average Europe individuals, average Europe individuals, understanding and capa capability in modern Europe. Even more. More industry. Because we don't have enough down here yet. Mm. There you go. Could definitely use more resources, though. Can we just extract what we need? No. Alright, we'll do that. Secrets of poverty, great! Poverty! Not bad. Alright, artillery, yes, please. 
please. Um, you entirely eliminate unions. Ooh. It's pretty darn high. Well, comedian and racial scientist. The racial supremacy of the French is indisputable, however. So there remains a great debate over the racial hierarchy of the Europe and the world. In order to clear up any confusion, a committee on the racial sciences will, of course, be established. Well, let's go this one first. Ledger. Anti-tank, anti-air. Yeah, I don't mind doing that one next. The industry planning. Yeah. Uh, approach Corsica. The royal house of Bonaparte had seized Corsica from French possession during the exile of the Bourbon royal family during Dorot's ascension to power. So called savior of France, Napoleon VI, was proclaimed as a French government in an exile and is our duty to restore French control over the region. Which sounds like a good thing to do. Sounds like a very good thing to do. As we'll spend a lot more political power on like whole factions and stuff like that, so. This Yugoslavia is pretty large, which is pretty nice for us. Lower factionalism, increase nationalistic fervor. Which is pretty bad, actually, right now. Pretty rubber, not bad. Good. Because I want to do this one too, which would be very nice. I put the situation Pan Francophile Doctrine. Renew National Spirit. Interesting. Survival kits. Mechanism equipment. Sure, why not? Five is left. What else do we have here? Nice. Anti-air upgrades. It's 1336. Auto mechs. Reliability. We'll go with that one. Even though we haven't really used that very much, but we'll see. Um, let's go through all this stuff as much as possible first. Balkan Diplomatic Initiative. The Balkans is a region full of war and division, an area ripe for dip, uh, Demo diplomatic exploitation. There's no better an example of this than the Kingdom of Serbia uh, and Romania, of course. Yeah, we'll do this one next. Dealing with Corsica. Small island nation of Corsica was once a broad territory of France. However, following the deposing of the Bourbon King, many pro monarchist elements fled to now this rump state and proclaimed a French kingdom in exile. This was done in its insignificant royal house of Bonaparte with the truth in mind. Many of the men would take what's roughly ours. Same list of demands, pretty much. Enemies are enemies. There are many th that live in our enemies' backyard that wish for liberation, or at the very least wish to see London and Frankfurt fall. We can make the best of this fact and funnel arms wherever we can to make our enemies break from the inside out. Well, would you look at that? Beautiful. I love it. I love it with a capital love. Good. Even more, even more, 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 more. That would be very nice. Research, not bad either. But it could be a little better, of course. We're still training. A lot of bodies. Not bad. A lot of bodies, though. Um, I don't think these guys are tougher, though. They really need some, like, artillery. Anti anti line ship. There's lead infantry, too. Wait. Got a little bit more infantry rations and equipment. Slightly more defense. Is that worth it? A little more HP, though. Way more production costs. A little bit less breakthrough. I think we'll just leave it at one for now. Um, artillery. I just tons of more soft attack. That would give us more to work with, which would be nice. Panzers. Well, this increases supply use, lowers armor and piercing, though. Which honestly, this would lower by point zero point seven as well. And reliability goes down as well. You don't get as much organization. But that doesn't really matter too much. And then the increase of reliability. And you get a lot more benefits to, like, attacking. Do you lose anything for terrain except for hills? Uh, 42 more defense. These guys give you between 3. Soft attack is 6. Soft attack here is 12. Can we try that? It does lower hardness quite a bit, though. Then again, so does adding motorized. So it is what it is. 
16 combat width. Let's go with 18 with ooh, quadrupods. Does it slow down at, at, at all very much? No, not really. There you go. Recon doesn't really help us out that much, but we'll just, we're not going to mess with it too much right now. I think that'd be okay too. Not mess with it, so. Cisplatina. Pan Francophone Doctrine. We shall make an effort to rekindle relations with any historically French colonies. These people once belonged to Rampart and the era of French as any man from Paris to Marseille. Let's go in factories. Keep going with two at a time. But really, arms factories are where it's at right now. I get some radar too. Radar's gonna help out a bunch. Way more than you could ever think it really would. Slowly, slowly, slowly trying to get more political power though. And I've heard the situation. Frank of Fine Doctor. And we'll start going down this way too. That should be nice. A lot of factionalism, but that's alright. Repair kit standardization, industry. Get some more coordination. Yes. <clears throat> the Apurdi situation. Apurdi was granted to the Basque Republic following the Treaty of Tours. The British argued that it was to ensure the safety of the local population identified as Basque, however. We know that such a statement was simply made to weaken France. The time has now come to reverse this foolish England mistake. That's a French province, the Dutch, huh? Seems kind of radical. And you know what I like? I like it radical. Oh. Well, good luck. Good luck. Oh. Public Santa Fe, huh? Arcadia's there, huh? United Commonwealth, huh? Alright, so after that, let's just do. And demand Valonia. Williams has and always will be a core territory of France. Its fundamental existence is a threat to the French nation, and it must be wiped off the map if we wish to truly be safe. Exactly my sentiments. Exactly. We're going to always shift some divisions around from here to somewhere else, especially because we're going to get naval invaded. Let's be real. Just being realistic, man. We're going to definitely get naval invaded. No, right Come on. Scroll up. Uh, there we got that, too. That'd be good. Good, good, good. A pretty situation. The Basque Country's creation of the Bob British created only to divide the Spanish French nation from within. With the nation who rebelled and the strength regained from the top of this border creature, our creation has come up in our high command, now we must decide its future. Time for peace has ended, send the demands. Well, we got that. It's not bad. You really should be a part of France, though. Part of the Wallonian leaders. We'll see about that. Um, oh, develop the collaborator states. Well, we have none of that right now. Uh, probably the army stuff. Army de Terre. The Army de Terre, what used to be the fate of face of France, is now whimper, whispering shadow of its former might. We must look towards what can be done to fix the corrupt state that army is in. We must prepare and prepare military for any possible conflicts. Oh, well, I guess we're at war. Can't imagine this would be too difficult, but you never know. Also, before we keep going on, planes. Fighters, 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 and bombers. Uh, go. We are definitely going to need to have way more stuff here. Way more arms factories. Planes are not bad. We got actually a lot of anti air, which is great. I love that a lot. And then goes Valonia. Mechanized whenever we get there. Um, these divisions definitely get some anti-air because we, as you can tell, don't have a lot of it right now. You know, just in case, let's do it like this. Nice. Wallonia Falls, purge the Wallonia independence leaders, which is awesome. With the Wallonia subjugated and pacified, the question of what to do with the government officials of the nation has come about. Many are calling for the heads, while others simply demand we deport them to London. Either way, Bologna is not French, whether they like it or not. And they're gonna like it. 
Koran Valoni Disud Valoni Corridor de Dunkirk. So that'll be great. It's only 20 day focus too, which is awesome. Six days left. 0.82. Low nationalism, high factionalism. It is what it is. We'll work on it. Um, electronics. Uh, you know what? Why not? Yeah, some of those divisions are really bad. I wish you could delete them, get rid of them, but you know what? You can't really. Which sucks. Also, for these guys, I'm just going to make sure that, uh, that these guys are just be able to move around very quickly. I don't have you guys there. Not really. I don't have you guys here, too. Let's set the portion just in case. All right. Dreams of greater France. While France has claimed a core integral territory, there are still threats all around her that uh, around her that surround the state's more operation. These diseases of Europe must be wiped out of the out maps of Europe. It may be a hard task, but it's a burden France was willing to bear. Exactly. And bear it we will. Rubba. Mm-hmm. Synthetic refineries, sure we can put one there. Nuclear reactors, synthetic refineries are so nice. Naval dockyards. Automatra is fine. Okay, of course. More war support would not be bad. More stability would not be bad either. Factionalism goes down. Use more stability, why not? Sure, why not? <clears throat> and the German hegemony. You eventually need a war with the United Kingdom with Germany. The Dutch still control the mainland possessions, we have to also declare war on them. To manage continental the Netherlands. Um, the Dutch have long had had a long and fruitful friendship with the German Empire, always posing a threat to our nation. We don't know whether they plan on welcoming a regime with open arms or whether they plan on siding with the Germans. They've often done. Better to play it safe and end the presence of Europe to our benefit. They'll probably go to war with us with that one, so. Tessa Tower. What does Tessa Tower do? Oh, local factories. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? You're almost done. Just finish them. Engineers, good. 37. Uh, better than 6. Why not? 10%. We'll keep working on it. After that one, dig sites. That actually might be really, really good to do. Uh, the demand for the materials is never ending. Our furnace is thirst for iron ore, and we're already we have an abundant access to such resources. One can never have too much of anything. We should open new dig sites in the name of industry. Yay. Very strong consumer confidence. Ma no major industry industrialized. And before we go to war, potentially go to war, which we probably end up will go to war. Let's go and save. Why not? Just in case. And for this one too. Ooh, actually made another battleship. Look at that. Our navy's probably gonna get destroyed. Let's see what they say. Germany defends the Dutch. A strongly worded telegram from Frankfurt to our foreign office today has not only demanded that we immediately cease hostilities with Dietzland, remove our troops from the territory, but that the army of the United Kingdom of Germany is on full alert and prepared to defend Dutch independence by force if necessary. Previous ultimatums from the Dutch have shown themselves to be bluffs, and the leadership quickly backed down from their insolence and allowed us to solve our territorial issues through diplomacy. However, this time, the German foreign office has informed us that they are no longer open to compromise. Either we enter conquest of Dutchland, or in 24 hours, the Germans will declare war they not receive a response. He said 24 hours, so it's been 24 hours, so no. So they called them in. So now we have a full front line. We should do well here. Actually, at the same time, we probably should have been doing some intel stuff. Oh, bad. Dutch crest escalates. How fast can we move in? Oh, if you want to buy this one, please go ahead as well. Thank you. Um, rubber issue. It's no surprise to say that much of the world's rubber is located within Asia, a region that we have no influence over. As such, we must invest in the synthetic, ru synthetic rubber production so that we do not have to rely on these nations during times of war. Second Great War. Pretty much, man. So far, not bad. 
Hey, that's good. Radar. Uh, sure, I know. Turkey revolts. Well, my goal right now is to get rid of Dutchland and then defend. See what we can do. Far East administration probably can't get too much from them. We need way more oil. Acadia, Caucasian, Mexico. Try. We'll see what we can do. Oh wow, they threw in a lot of divisions there. We're actually pushing into Germany fairly well. Germany joins Britain. That's a pretty sad division, not gonna lie. At least make them slightly more armored or something. Let's put on at least another motorized. Losses, 27,000. We've killed off a lot of them so far. I'm actually very impressed with how much we've gotten far with, how far we've gotten with these guys. How are we down here too? Um, I mean, this is still mountains, don't get me wrong. I really want to push in, but I kind of doubt that we could. Actually, you guys go right there. Hey, nice. Convoys, convoys, nice. Not bad, not bad. Some of these guys are literally just going to die there. Holy crap. Prussia is doing very well as well. Oh, they're running out of, They must be mobilizing more. Okay, Spain's been called in too, which is not bad. Another convoy's been sunk. Good. Take out those boys over there if you can. Hopefully, don't get nailing invaded. My God. And then you know, I'm going to send you guys down here to help out take out the Portuguese. These guys look like they could become a pr potential problem. Ooh. Oh, we can't see it. Nice. Sink them shippies. Dig sites. Nice. They join us, which we love, 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 love. Very good. Uh, heavy water development. Maintain the racial bias. Redeem political prisoners. Ah, oh, this one. We should place heavy emphasis on redeeming France of foreign blood. Thousands of Germans and Jews still populate the eastern states of France and can still do without them. Transforming these camps into racial ghettos will accelerate the eradication process of all inferiors. Not bad. Yes, sirs. Amsterdam is definitely going to giving us quite a lot of struggle here, but it makes sense. Oh, yes. From a department. Oh, that sucks. Lots of heavy cruiser. In exchange for one more others as well, so it's not terrible. Too ought to go to repair. Let's go home and go to repair. That's fine. Uh, attack bombers, attack bomber spiders. Cool. Not bad overall. This is going to be a pain in the butt, but that's okay. Uh, over here, keep doing this stuff. Do more. Wow, we got a lot of naval XP from that, which is great. And then you guys do you guys. London Proclamation. Emden. Ooh, ooh. Might just be able to take him, maybe. Mission. Where you guys at? Let's see how these guys do here. Yeah, we're still doing quite well. Even Amsterdam. These guys are slowly starting to fall, which is great. Ooh, we lost some convoys. That sucks. You guys actually do anything? What is it? Oh, we can try it. Yeah, why not? Hey, the Dutch are gone. Great. We can throw these extra divisions on the, on the, on the thing here, and that'd be awesome. After the racial bias. Um, it sounds like we're getting naval invaded somewhere. Oh, they're getting invaded. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. They threw in seven divisions here. Holy crap, dudes. Relax.
Oh no, that was a, that was a thing down here. Oh, the Europe Pan European Commonwealth expand economic influence in the independent state of Prussia. Hey, another division in circle. Great. Anything over here? Oh, go scavenger expert. Frankfurt is a frontline city. That was fast. These divisions aren't even that good, anyways. I'm seventy thousand loss versus three hundred thirty thousand. Oh, well, I've got Frankfurt. Russia's really sucking, but you know what? That's okay. Seeing that there, Rachel Bynes. Dress rubber issue, yes please. Are the Germans done? They're running out of manpower quickly, but still. Um, after that, address the fuel reserves. Or increase the fuel reserves. We can do that in a little bit. Scale state-owned weapons manufacturers. France desperately needs to expand our military sector, and who better to help plug the gap than the already established military manufacturing companies of France? Special tax incentives, as well as some rather intriguing military contracts, shall entice the private arms sector to rapidly expand its capabilities and meet into meeting government demands. Because why not? All right, so we've been attacking a whole crap ton here, but look at all the equipment we have now. Whoa! Need more tactical bombers, I guess. Can we really afford it? Not really. Whatever. Anti-tank wouldn't be bad. Um, even Italy. We're not doing that great against them, so we should probably stop attacking, but we're doing all right. Holy crap, there's so much green here. Why, why is it? What's going on here? Why is it like this? Why don't you guys do this too? Help them out there. We are crushing the Germans like crazy. It's a little insane to see like this. Mm. I want to begin to integrate the Netherlands next. Yeah, that'd be nice, actually. Logistics 2 is nice. It's good. It's very good. More soft attack, yes. Ground support, good. At least keeping these guys here is not bad. Royal stuck. Why are the Germans so weak? I don't think we were that weak when I played them. The French, or the Republic, where are the French? The Russians can't do anything. Heavy water development. French scientists have pondered on the deal of the atom. While the science is rather young and theoretical, if we can fund such years, we may be able to harness unmatched, tech, uh, unmatched technologies. And Faldor de Guerra. A doctrine is brewing among younger and more schooled, educated commanders. They speak of a doctrine of speed, striking the enemy with fierce machines and then following the soldiers. Like lightning in a bottle, we shall strike and catch the enemy surprise. Surprise! The idea must be pursued further. We've broken all the way to northern Italy. What the heck? One push, and that was all we... Oh, we should have done one earlier. That's all we needed. <clears throat> That's all we flipping needed. How are we looking down here? We're looking all right. Holy smackles. Holy fathers. We've almost reached the Prussian lines, man. Ooh, Venice has been somewhat cut off. Not exactly. Why is this so easy, though? I don't understand. Now that's a lot of infrastructure. Um, don't get me wrong, it's nice. Uh, so I'm doing some of that there. Can't build it down there, which kind of sucks, but some right there. Um, monthly population, medical facilities, research speed, local factories, local manpower, fuel capacity. Give a lot more of this. I made some dockyards too. Do that. Provence, Dankeschön, or why do I say thank you in French? That's a good question to ask. Nice. 
experimental rockets, not bad. 1937 still armor, support equipment. Vienna is completely surrounded. Well, almost completely surrounded. Very close, for now. And what else? Armor technology, automats, increased production? Why not? More land ships are needed, simply not enough land ships to keep up with demands for growing military. Through streamlining parts per part production and oh they died! Um and lowering stance, theoretically production lines could reach expected levels. Beautiful. Germany offers unconditional surrender. The German army defeated the French collaborators have offered us a total unconditional surrender. Well the rest of the German government has fled in exile in Central Africa, their homeland now remains under control. The making of Europe has begun. Oh, we'd be a lot of like you too. So what about us and the the German? Uh, not the Germans, the British. Because in my campaign, when I played it once, as that they're uh, Germans. Holy crap! Uh, the British are very strong. Okay, so we have what? The Russian Empire. That's literally just the Russian Empire territory. It's our people. Anton Drexler. Ooh, nice. Oh, and we want do it twice here too. And expand Prussia into our system. Oh, the Nuremberg Tribunal with Germany now bending the knee to the new French masters. The need for an official tribunal uh, against those that dare to oppose is becoming very apparent. While I've already gathered much of the pre collapsed German government into high command, there's still very those that are cowering within the German countryside. We must find and liberate individuals, find these individuals if we wish to put an end to the German liberation front. German troops retreat in Denmark. Much of the German high command. And military remnants have fled from Holstein into, and into Danish lands, being welcomed as defenders of a free Europe and democratic Europe, apparently. Yet inside sources tell us that the military situation within Denmark and much of Scandinavia at this point is chaotic. We can use the shock of recent German collapse to quickly rush down an unprepared Scandinavia and secure a quick victory for the Pacta Vangista. Scandinavia is always an enemy of ours anyways. Oh! Well, there we go. Okay. Well, that was fast. Okay. Keep going on in. We'll deal with these guys in just a little bit. Yeah, we've done really, really well in this campaign for some reason. Seventy-two percent. German Liberation Front with Germany under a French boot. That's surprisingly many taking a hostile action against this fact. Armed raids and terrorist attacks that are becoming an, oft an often occurrence and collaborators demand that we address this issue or else we fail full on rebellion. Recruit collaborators, huh? Oh, they're still down here quite a bit, so that sucks. Focus. Find and kill them all. Divine Kingdom of Portugal, huh? Nice. Keep going, keep going. No supply sucks, but still. Good. Oh. Nice. Alright, so for this. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Let's go down to the Jutland. Oh, never mind. Nice. All right then. Denmark capitulates. Commander military garrison. Um. Pro Vangista propaganda campaigns. Show of strength. Submission sweep. Oh, I like this one. But for now, let's at least try to do something with this one, maybe. Must convince the German people to fight the GLF threat. They must know that an organization does not care for their well-being, only to take for the state and those that have worked hard. Oh, look. 
They're under us already. Oh, wow. Doctrine of Aggression. The military must be like a wolf coordinated in squads willing to strike with a vicious, vicious bite. Instilling the unyielding will to break through enemy lines will entrench into the Doctrine of Speed. Strike, the, uh, strike, strike while the iron is hot. Which makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. They're doing quite well over there. Ooh, convoy's nice. Nice. Oh, wow, they're spreading. Wait, what happened here? What happened? How did they come through the northern part here? Oh, this is so dumb. Yeah, we'll do this thing. This is stupid. How? Can Italy, Italy just please capitulate now? There you go. You know what? Don't even do it like that. Do it like this. You guys go here. There you go. Fine, we're gonna need some greater war fighters anyways. Go there. Any more tanks, not bad. Keep focusing down here. We definitely need to focus down here more often. Call to speed. Speed is a key element of mobile warfare. Soldiers can't keep up with the machines, so they must move fast. But they will move fast, they will learn by force necessary. Mobility is required of our land ships and tactility tactility is required of our soldiers. Good. Kill them all off. Nice. 38. Over here? No. Level 4 though, it's not bad. Cult of Speed. No, I can't do any of that stuff yet. We'll probably do in the next episode, because we'll really focus on the British next. Fire rate will get improved a little bit. The easiest way to address unemployment crisis would be to deploy thousands of state-funded road projects. While this has already been ongoing, we've yet to fully fund a project. If we do implement such a measure, we can see a rejuvenated economic interest in the opening new buildings in tandem with these newly constructed roads. And like I said earlier, I asked you guys whether we should do this one, and this never sleeps, versus Pride in our work. And overall, the town's recording, there's more support for Pride in our work. Most aim at producing quality products for the populace, military, so that may never fail their users. This means no shortcuts, no cheap alternatives, only the finest materials that can be used in the production of our goods. Holy crap. Why do we have such bad supply? That makes literally no sense. We have a supply point right here that's fully supplied. Why don't you guys come over here? Maybe we do something there, maybe, maybe not. Nice, good job over there, guys. Uh, we'll be fine over there. How about up here? Oh, wow. That sucks. <clears throat> yeah, the military's there. Sweden capitulates. Nice. Good job, guys. Palermo, huh? Go in. Don't stop until they're all dead. I'm 
Should be able to break over. Road works, nice. Good roads. Not bad. Air stuff. Fighter twos, yeah. Hey, not bad. Not bad. This is not looking good right now. But it's fine. A lot of our guys are getting ready to really do what we need to be done. Capitulate Portugal probably first. And then increase the fuel reserves. And heavy water development. And I'll probably end with import German labor. The newly formed regime of Nuremberg, Germany is eager to assist France in its struggle against Britain. Donations in the form of manpower resources and war materials will be sent away via a list of requests to the new German state. And a stipulated in a treaty, Germany is to provide France with the necessary materials of requests. While in initial industrial demands were rather fair. As the war continues and changes, so does the situation. The economic thirst for more factories is too great for France to sustain it by itself and must acquire new industries to address such an issue. German servitude. The Germans must know their place. They're not our partners nor equals they are our servants. They should be reminded of this fact, else dissent may occur, forceful persuasion may be necessary, and what's theirs is ours. Oh, what is this? Germany's rich in resources, thousands of mines lay underutilized by untrained workers. We shall fill these holes in the earth with new life, the life only France could provide. Of course, Germany is expected to pay the toll while we reap the rewards. And connect to the wireless world. It's vitally important that we begin the process of telesification. We're already lagging behind in numerous areas of technological advancements, and the area of wireless electricity is just another one to check off the to do list. Invest in Lyon. It's a uniquely located between the Rhone and Saline rivers. Out of the Great War, served as a provisional capital of the newly formed French Republic until Paris was reinstated by the, as a capital. After repairs on the city were complete, to this city is mostly known for its historical landscapes and buildings. Invest in Bordeaux. Bordeaux is well known for its wine and beautiful architecture, being one of the few cities spared by the Anglo-German onslaught during the Great War. Being one of our only major cities on the West Coast, it is imperative that we modernize the city while still preserving its unique style. Invest in Paris. Paris has been the capital of France for numerous centuries and has seen the best and worst parts of French history. After the Great War, the city was utterly devastated with ruins littering much of the cityscape. Major reconstruction efforts had to be undertaken by the French Republic to bring the city back to its pre-war status and invest in Orleans. Orleans, or Orleans. And much in the same vein of Paris has seen the worst of the Great War. However, it was fiercely defended, and it is thanks to the heroism of French forces that portions of the city remain untouched, unlike the Parisian counterparts. Today, the city is mostly known for its importance in trade and finance. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we hopefully capitulate the League of Nations. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.